Welcome back to the lab, folks. So what I'm going to do today is I've got this um, Fernisi DCO TC4 here. And one of the problems I, I had with this was, I guess, a, a, a manufacturing flaw. And what had happened is, if, if you look here at this battery, I don't know how clearly you can see it, but it's got, uh, you see this little divot there? Hope you can see that. So that was caused, and there's a couple other ones here too, that was caused by this socket here. This is mounted in there underneath that socket, kind of like this. And uh, the pins on the socket went through the PC board and they were kind of long, they dug into this. And this, this is not a very thick battery, but it's thick enough that uh, it caused that problem. And one of the issues I had with this scope was that uh, it doesn't uh, hold a charge very long. So I thought that, that might be the problem However, since I've taken that out, it does hold a charge. This was the uh, protection board on it. It might be in the protection board, or it might indeed be the quiescent current draw of this, because it has kind of like a soft switch, so there's always a little bit of current draw in there. But in this day and age, that should be down in the microamps. It shouldn't discharge a battery like this in a week. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change that battery. Well, I've already got that battery is out, and I've gone put this battery in its place. Now this battery is the same capacity, uh, but it's much bigger in area, but much, much thinner. So I'm gonna try to put this battery in here. I think it will just fit width-wise. And uh, we're going to use a little bit of carpet tape to hold it down. Well, well the first thing to do is to, to get this open. And then I'm gonna put that on a meter. Um, I'll, I'll plug in this battery, I'll put it on a meter and see what the quiescent current draw is. And if that is, sufficiently high then well there's nothing much we can do about the uh, shelf life of this if not then it must be it must be this because as i say and i'll show you that once i get the meter out this has held a charge for more than a month no problem at all but uh, let me get this thing open and we'll proceed from there Okay, so we're in. I'm gonna have to clean up that sponge tape there a little bit. But uh, let's just see if this is gonna fit down in there. Now, where is the power? There's the power right there. So it's gotta reach over to that. I don't think there's any problem with the length of the cable I have here. And let me just test fit this down in there. Oh yeah, that'll fit down in there just nicely. In fact, it's sticking, it's gone and stuck itself to that sponge tape. I suppose I could leave that in there, right? I don't, shouldn't have to put any more tape in there. I mean, if I just press it down on that, it'll be fine. So let's, let's just do that. That's good, yeah, that'll, that'll be fine. And uh, here, here's the socket here, where that uh, the pins were a little bit long. And I trimmed them down myself. So we should have no issue now at all with it, uh, you know, sticking holes in, in the battery. But let's, uh, yeah, let's hook this up and let's get a, uh, an ammeter on it and see what kind of current we're drawing here. Let's see if I have enough room here. This is up in my little mini lab upstairs and I don't have all the room in the world up here, but let me get uh, some leads on this. Well, okay, according to this meter, Okay, so here we've got 0.8 microamps. Now, that shouldn't draw down a 1500 milliamp hour battery that quickly. Let's, now let's turn it on and see what happens here. I don't know if there's a, enough going to be able to pass through this to be able to turn the thing on. No, so we'd have to do it on the amp scale. That's, that's okay. Okay, it's all working fine now. This battery should do just wonderfully. It's fitting in there beautifully and it's going to clear everything here. But uh, again, I'm, I'm just a little uh, worried about the quiescent current on it. And it's very low. Like if we go in here, we've got 0.74 microamps. So one microamp and this battery should last 1,500 hours if my math is correct. Maybe it, maybe it was this board here. Maybe this board was faulty. 
because this is definitely not drawing the current and I don't know about this board in here it's a, it's a much more sophisticated looking board uh, with a more ICs on it so <laughs> hopefully it uh, it lasts okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna, I got to take this downstairs for my hot air gun I'm going to solder this up and put a little piece of tape on it and then we're just going to bolt the thing back together and we're all done okay we're all ready here to uh, snap it back together so that battery is going to do very well in there but no issues at all with that lots of room for the wires just get it snapped into the snaps first okay and then we'll put in let's try to turn it on first see if it's okay yeah, everything's fine there so I'm just going to charge up this battery and uh, I mean if, if it doesn't do well if it doesn't hold a charge I'll come back and let you guys know so if you don't never hear about this again then you'll you'll know that it it the replacement of the battery is successful and that it that was the problem but I'll show you that other battery in a second and maybe you guys can leave in the comments what you think is going wrong here Okay, let's uh, put this battery on here. And like I say, it's, it's been well over a month since I pulled this battery out. I should also mark on here the polarity, shouldn't I? Oh, it's, it's marked on there, I see it. Okay, that's negative, this is positive. So I charge this up to four volts and it's still at four volts. So it, it's not self-discharging and it doesn't look like this at, at 0.74 microamps acquiescent current would discharge it in any length of time so my theory is that this board here now I don't, I'm not going to test that right now but I will in the future some point in time because you know I generally my idea was I'd pull this battery out and I would take this off I had to take the connector off it to use with that other battery because it didn't come with a connector and uh, what I'll do is I'll put this in my box of uh, protection circuits. Uh, but if this one is questionable, I'd want to test it yeah, before I use it on anything. But there you have it. Uh, this thing is working now. And I quite like that because it is a real nice little tester. It's, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it is the, the best of um, Fernese's uh, component checkers. And it uh, has some other features built in, like a little oscilloscope and a little function generator. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's a nifty little device. And I hope that uh, this fixes the problem I had with it. Remains to be seen. All right. Thanks for coming out, folks. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.